Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you uh, basic thermal analysis. Uh, so what I've done is I've started here with a, um, a simple extruded shape um, and I'm imagining this is um, a, um, a fin uh, cooling fins in a computer. <coughs> so here I've got 95 by um, 55 overall with three fins at five millimeters thickness and so this will allow us to apply a few different um, heating loads so we do our solid model again you can apply symmetry and 2D um, uh, methods to it and the best way is to start with the thermal mode and uh, in here we got some uh, different loads and boundary conditions we can put on um, first things first, put a material on it. I'm going to give it aluminium because that's good at um, for cooling fins. Uh, I'm going to put some uh, heating load. So the heating load I'm going to apply to the bottom surface here, and um, I'll put that in watts. And we might say that we've got uh, 300 watts. Okay, um, then we might also say we've got uh, convection on the fins. Convection on the vertical fins. And we'll give that as watts per meter squared. Let's say that um, this is going to be 50. The bulk temperatures, the air, and we'll say inside the computer is, uh, say, we aim it to be 30 degrees. And we've got a different convection for horizontal surfaces. only 25 watts per meter squared and again bulk temperature is we're aiming for 30 we'll just add in with these vertical surfaces on the sides as well Alrighty, um, and then we've got a measured temperature boundary condition on the base here. Uh, let's say that that's at let's say that that's at 120 degrees. And let's say up top. Oh, let's see if we can just run that as it is. Okay, so we're doing thermal, and we run this at analysis under thermal. It's a new steady state thermal. Thermal fins. Okay. take very long. We can display the temperatures. So we've got 120 degrees here and you can see it's cooling as it gets to the top. And we've got 100 degrees surface temperature at the top. Now the problem might be we want to um, we want to reach a specific temperature at the top here so we might have to 
increase the conviction rate. Um, or we might we might um, enlarge this area of the fin um, to um, enlarge the amount of convection that can go on because it's what's per meter squared so we add area to this um, vertical surfaces of the fins to increase our um, reduction in temperature but that's a design problem so once you run a thermal analysis you can go to the structural analysis and put in your structural loads and then you can add on under loads here your thermal loads so then the strain due to um, your thermal analysis will be added on so it's, that's why it's important we um, see why it's important we do this uh, thermal analysis first and the reference temperature we might just say it's 25 degrees atmosphere All right. so then we can go through a typical uh, static analysis so we might have that's fixed and uh, we let's just pretend that we've got some kind of forces on these fins as well Maybe we've got some bending force in the X of 100 newtons. Alright. As you can see here in our loads, the thermal loads would be added in with our mechanical loads. And the constraints is mechanical. Alright, so we let's try to run that. So we add a static analysis. Oh, cool. We look at the stresses and some displacements there. As you can see, there's expansion due to heat. Uh, it's restrained here in X, Y, and Z, so it's not allowed to expand. So you can see a curvature in the corner there, um, and um, we can see some bending due to that side load there, and then expansion up due to the. Um, was running from 200 to 100 degrees so there's a thermal expansion there alright so that's how you combine the um, static and thermal together um, you could change this and have a look at displacement say and it shows where the maximum displacements are okay thank you